Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am just home. It's the weekend, and I am going to do some nesting. <laughs> um, I want to make padsicles because a lot of people have suggested that I make those. So I'm going to make those. If you know what those are, <laughs> then you know what those are. Um, I want to make more red raspberry tea because I've been drinking this stuff like it's going out of style um, and then I need to make a salad because we're going to go to a dinner tonight um, so I can show you guys the salad I make because I'm kind of famous for it not really but um, I do get requested to bring this salad a lot just because it's it's pretty good and I don't know kind of my go to so I am going to do that and then um, I'm trying to think of what else I need to do um, I think I'm going to pack my, so I, I packed my hospital bag, that video is up, so you guys can watch that, um, but I think I'm going to pack the baby's diaper bag for when we come home, if that makes sense, so I already have the baby stuff packed with my stuff, um, but I think I want to pack her diaper bag separately, just so that I don't have to worry about it once we get home. Um, from the hospital, maybe like a day or two when we go out. It's already packed, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, we'll just see what other things I can come up with to keep myself busy and nesting before this baby gets here. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna make the salad first because we have to leave soon and I need to get that ready. Um, and a couple things that are in the salad that need to be cooked beforehand are bacon and walnuts. And so I bake my bacon because I think it's just easier cleanup and I don't know, I just like doing it that way and it comes out really crispy, really good. So I bake it at 375 for like 15 minutes and then I flip it and bake it for another 10 minutes and it's like perfect, perfect bacon. So. I gotta get that in the oven um, so it can cool down before I put it in the salad. Okay, so while that is baking, I'm going to take about two tablespoons of butter, melt it in a pot, and add, um, I don't really measure anything, but let's see, there's six ounces in here. I'll probably do half this bag because um, the salad that I'm making isn't very big. And um, add some maple syrup and some salt. Um, to the pot after the butter is melted and then I put them on a baking sheet and then I bake the um, walnuts or I toast them for like 10 minutes and those go in the salad as well and you are being very rude by, by barking at people you gotta be nice I actually ended up using all of the walnuts from that bag and then I'm going to take just some of this and drizzle it on top. I don't measure. Like I said, I just kind of eye it and say, hey, that looks good. I don't like to have too much maple syrup. But anyway, just enough that they get kind of sticky. And then same with salt. I don't measure. I just sprinkle. I like a lot of salt, but... I won't do too much. And now it's time to make more red raspberry tea. I do eight of these packets in here. This is a I don't know how many. <laughs> All I know is it's one cup is, so the cups are on here, one cup is one bag and there's eight cups, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, I put eight cups, like tea bags, into here, fill this up, let it cool down, and then I put it in the fridge and I drink it. This lasts me like three days, maybe.
Okay, and then I'm just gonna let this sit here. As you can see, it's like still steaming a lot. Ooh, it's really hot. I'm just gonna let it sit here until it's done cooling. And then I'll put it in the fridge. And it looks like the walnuts are done. I can take those out. And let them cool before adding them to the salad. What are you doing? Just testing the baking trips. Is the bacon good? Worthy. Is it cool down? Mm-hmm. Cool down. Will you put it in the salad for me? Let's add it. It's already looking so pretty. That is so much bacon. I know, maybe we don't need that much. There's no way. Add like half of it. I did a smaller amount of spinach because last time we had leftovers, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some feta crumbles. Uh, will you open that and put some of those in? Two of Eric's very favorite foods, most favorite foods, feta and bacon. Together, combo. Mm -hmm. How much? Whatever you want. And then sometimes I'm super domestic and I make homemade poppy seed dressing, but I'm gonna just use this because it was on sale at Target. I put the walnuts in the freezer so that, oh, dang it, they'd cool off. What's the best part about this? The best part about the salad is taking out the spinach and the apples. <laughs> so taking out the vegetables. Mm -hmm. These are still kind of hot. Mm -hmm. So we don't need all of them either. Mm. Um, I usually buy a bigger thing of spinach, but I just felt like last time we had the salad, we had so much left over. So we did. I think we're good. Let's go. Hey, you guys. We just got back from dinner with... Eric's family for Easter. Um, actually, we didn't just just get back, but um, we're just settling down for the night, and I thought now might be a good time for me to make pad schools because I have not done those yet, which was on my list of things to do today. So I've got my stuff ready to go and my candle going. Guys, I love this candle. It's new from Bath & Body. It's so good. And... Can you guys see this amazing, like, dress nightgown thing I've got going on? Walmart, 15 bucks. I mentioned this in my hospital bag. I will be taking this to the hospital. I put it on tonight because I was so uncomfortable. I took it out of my hospital bag and put it on tonight because I just was so uncomfortable and I just didn't want anything around my belly, like a shirt or whatever. So I'm really digging this thing. And I'll probably continue to wear it even after postpartum, like a couple years from now. It's still held up. I'll probably still wear it. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and make some patsicles. So I wanted to chat with you guys just a little bit um, while I make these. I think one of the reasons why we nest is because there's so much unknown that comes with having a baby. And because we can't control any of it, this is my theory, because we can't control a lot of it, we nest and we try to control our situation, our environment as much as possible. Um, also, we just are going crazy because we're waiting for the baby and they could come any minute or they could come at like way overdue, we don't know. So we just like, because of all that unknown, we just, at least for me, I feel like I need to harness that energy somewhere. And nesting has been the thing. So cleaning my house like crazy and just doing everything I can to prep for baby and postpartum recovery because that's the other thing is a lot of that's unknown. I've never had a kid before, so I don't know how my body is going to react and every pregnancy and every delivery I'm sure is different too so even if you've had a kid you don't really know how each time is going to go but you can probably go in with more confidence if you have already had a kid anyway so that is why we nest and we do these things because we want to be as prepped as possible I'm sure it's like this for your first most people's first they're like way crazy about all this because 
you know, so much unknown. I don't do well with unknown. Um, <laughs> I just don't. And I know some of you are like that as well, so you can relate to me, but I just, I don't do well with not feeling like I'm in control of my situation. And so doing things that will prep, like making padsicles, um, that will, like stuff that I can do to prep for the best, um, to be best prepared, helps a lot. So, yeah, I don't know, I just, it's crazy how much you, yeah, just, you don't know how your baby's gonna be, you don't know how your recovery is gonna be, you don't know what your birth is gonna be like, birth experience, you don't know, I don't know, it's just all unknown, you just have to go with the flow. And just trust that everything will work out because it does, right? Everyone, people have been having babies for years and years and they didn't have pascals back in the day and everyone seemed to be just fine and survive. But we have pascals now, so we are going to make them so we give ourselves the best chance at recovery. And I'm not sure I even explained how to make these yet. I just looked up something online. Um, and this is kind of the recipe I found. It's pretty much like this. I found a few recipes, recipes, whatever, um, for these. And it's pretty much the same on each one. So. I have these always maxi pads. They're, I don't know. I just, let me see. This is what they look like. That's what I grabbed. Um, and they are huge pads. I have like never seen pads this big, to be honest. Um, and then just some plain aloe vera gel. Um, this is like fragrance free, dye free, and it has the neat little spout at the top so you can squeeze it on and you don't have to rub it in or anything, just like generously put it all over and then when you do it as far down as you can, I guess. I don't know. I don't really want to open this end, so I'm just doing it that far. Um, and then, I'm probably doing a whole lot, but it's fine. And then I was measuring out the witch hazel with a teaspoon in each one, but then, I don't know. I don't feel like doing that, so I'm just kind of eyeing it a teaspoon's worth right there. Right there, and right there, and then a couple drops of lavender essential oil, and then fold it up, and pack it in the ziplock, but um, the recipe that I found, the blog post, um, the girl who wrote it said that she went through 30 of these in one week. And so I'm starting with 20. And we'll see how far that gets me. Because um, that's all I bought. I only bought 10, 20 pads. So, because I didn't know how many. I didn't read that until after I had bought them. But I think that's fine. I think 20 is a good place to start. And, um, who knows, what if I don't even need them because I'm just doing that good with recovery. So, I just packed them, ten, in a bag. And then I'll put these in the freezer and they'll be good to go. Hey, you guys, it is a few days later. I, um, I'm actually 39 weeks today. And I have big plans to clean, organize, get some stuff done around the house. 
Eric's gonna be gone all day today, so we went and got some waffles, pancakes together, and then um, he's gonna be heading out um, for some church stuff all day. And so, yeah, I have big plans to clean and organize the house and work on some things, uh, you know, nesting, that whole thing. Um, but we'll see how much I can do, because like I said, I am 39 weeks today and I feel like I'm 100 weeks pregnant. But anyway, um, a lot of you have asked how, or like what um, pump I got. And I just got a pump from insurance and it just came. So I was gonna show you guys, um, just gonna unbox it right here, right now, cause it just came. Okay, looks like I may have opened this upside down. So hold on one second. Okay, so here's the pump I got. It's the Medela Pump in Style. Uh, where does it say it? I just saw it. Pump in style, right here. Advanced starter kit. So I'm wondering if I should even like open this up or anything um, right now. I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave it in this box and when I need to start pumping, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch um, a review or something on YouTube so I have an idea before I actually need to use it. Hey, hey, you guys. So I'm in the nursery right now, and it's the next day. Sorry, this vlog is going to be a jumbled mix of different days of me trying to get things prepped for baby, just all the nesting things going on. So today, um, I am going to not only film a nursery organization video, I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm going to wash some bottles and pacifiers, so I need to get those out. Um, got them in here, some pacifiers. I'm gonna sterilize these, wash some bottles, and I think right now I'm gonna pack my, I'm gonna pack my baby's little diaper bag. So this is the diaper bag I have. I just got it from Amazon. We just typed in highest rated diaper bag, and this is what came up. And so we got it. Um, I put some things in here already. I am not taking this to the hospital. Oh gosh, one second. So I'm not taking this to the hospital. I'm just packing baby stuff um, in my own hospital bag because I'm not bringing a ton. So go watch that, that video if you haven't already. Um, but here's what I have in here so far. So it has the little changing mat, which is great. And then I have some wipes. And then in here are some diapers and wipes. And I have no idea, like, how many you're going to need. So, let me see. So, I got this with um, my welcome gift, I think, from Amazon. Um, so, there's just, like, some diapers in here and some wipes. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wipes out and just have this be for diapers. And I think this might be size one or two. It looks kind of big. And then there's some tinier ones here, more wipes. I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna put just diapers in here. So I'm gonna put more newborn, a bunch of newborns diapers in here. And I'll put those in here with the wipes that are already in there. Okay, these are all packed and loaded, mostly newborn diapers. I think there's like a size one, a couple size ones in here. But that's all packed and loaded, I'm ready to go. Okay, and I just stuck the other two wipe sample packets in here for now. Okay, now I need to put like an extra little sleeper in there. And I think these are the newborn ones, so I'll put that one. I'll put an extra little sleeper and um, maybe a little onesie. I don't know, maybe a white onesie. Yeah, so this little white newborn onesie I'll put in there to have. I'm gonna grab a couple burp cloths to stick in there. A little pair of socks and um, my friend got me a couple of these so I'm gonna maybe just put one of these in the bag as well. I think I'll add a pacifier after I sterilize them and after I figure out which kind she likes. Okay I'm grabbing one more outfit. Just this little like pants 
and um, a little newborn onesie because you know I don't know just might be good to have two outfits in that bag not for you buddy okay and she's gonna need a blanket probably a little swaddle so I'll just grab one of these Okay, so I think I'm about packed, but you guys, you other moms, remember, I'm a first-time mom, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but here's what I'm thinking, is I'll put, um, this front po pocket will be reserved for, um, like, I have hand sanitizer in there, this is just the Dr. Bronner's hand sanitizer I got at a local health food store, um, that will be reserved for hand sanitizer and, like, um, maybe my phone and wallet. And then this next one is just for bottles, which I don't have in there yet, but I'll reserve that for bottles. And then right here will be burp cloths, because I feel like that's something you want to grab kind of fast, so I have a couple of those in there. And then this pocket doesn't really have much other than those wipes, because I don't really know what else to put in here. Um, it has, it goes all the way down, but I'm just like thinking this might be a spot where I'll put any soiled clothes in the front right here. Um, just away from everything else. So if she has, you know, spit up or something on her clothes and we have to change them, we'll stick them in this front pocket. Because I'm thinking from Eric's perspective too, like if I need the diaper bag, if we need something, he's going to probably open the main compartment first. So most everything's in there. So we've got the blanket, diapers, wipes, couple outfits, onesie, and socks. And then the diaper cream is over here in this pocket oops and then maybe I don't know where I'll put bingies or whatever maybe a side pocket I don't know this is what we're gonna start with just so we have a bag ready to go okay you guys and then in this shelf um, which is right next to the fridge I have all my baby stuff so um, I'm going to bust this out and start washing bottles. However, I'm only going to wash this set and um, this one. And if she likes these bottles, then I'll open this pack. But if not, I'm just going to... Oh, I didn't even realize there's two pinkies right there. Um, if not, I'm going to return these. But hopefully she likes them. And then I have my bottle warmer right here and yeah so I'll take that out because I'm going to use that to clean them. Alright you guys that is it for this video. I know it's been kind of a jumbled mess but um, I wanted to just document everything I'm doing. Hopefully it helps somebody out there who is about to become a mom for the first time or second time or third or whatever um, give you the motivation or inspiration to get prepped for baby. Um, I'm like out of breath right now, but uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you guys on this new adventure with me because, like, we're going to have a baby within a week here, so um, some really exciting things are about to come, so... I hope you guys will join us for that. And yeah, thanks again for watching, you guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.